a relatively young and inexperienced Australian side is in India to play the One Day International series. In the recent past, we have seen sides coming from Australia and actually dominating India in the One Day format. So joining me to discuss this is Gaurav Joshi, who is an Australian cricket journalist and he's in India to cover the ongoing tour. So Gaurav, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, your thoughts on this tour? I mean, the last time, I'll just give a brief timeline. In 2007, you had all the big guns, 4-2. In 2009, a relatively weaker side again, but still you had the big guns, 4-2 again. But now, what do you have to say about it? It certainly is a weaker side, but a lot of them are experienced in playing IPL and so forth. I mean, Shane Watson, um, many people in Australia believe he plays better in the subcontinent, especially in the short format of the game, and this is going to be what he's going to be. James Faulkner, who's come about. Clint McKay, I think, is one of the most underrated uh, bowlers in world cricket, in one day cricket. He'll be one. So I don't think this series will be as um, one sided as many people believe. I think Australia can even win maybe you know two or maybe even three matches. Yeah, well, actually, you go by the way they played at Rajkot in the first T20 International. Aaron Finch impressed. Nick Maddinson, where did this kid come from? Yeah, Nick um, Maddo, as they call him. He's from Nara. He's a country boy. He's come from a beautiful place. Uh, he's been around the circles for a while. He actually toured Zimbabwe with the Australia A team about a year and a half back. He played against the Indian emerging team um, and he scored 80 odd. And that emerging team had like the Varun Aaron, uh, had Umesh Yadav, and so forth. So he's in 2011. In 2011. So he was pretty uh, impressive there as well. So Nick Madison's got, uh, he's scored 100. And, I think in his first or his second match, second match for New South Wales. So he's a, he's coming on, he's only 19, 20 years of age. So I think he's a new uh, future prospect for Australia. Is he on, uh, is he only for the T20 or is he going to stay on for the ODIs? Uh, that's undecided at the moment. I believe with his T20 performance last night, there's a chance that he will um, stand up. But uh, when the team was actually announced, it's, um, it's believed he's only been chosen for T20. And so at least he can go back and perform in the Sheffield Shield season, which will start in another three or four weeks time. And how important a tour is this for Brad Haddon, who's trying to get back and cement a spot in the lead up to the next World Cup? I, I think so, yeah. But Brad Hannon's quite important. I think if you look at his average in India, I think he averages 60-odd in about 7-odd games. So I think it's, he's such a good player of spin bowling. That's probably why Australia's uh, managed to leave Matthew Wade out and gone into someone like Brad Haddon. And I think Haddon gives them an option. He could open the batting. Um, if Finch doesn't work out up the top uh, later on in the series, or even in the middle order, especially with Michael Clark not being there, I think he's got he's able to use his feet and manoeuvre the ball, which with some of the Australian youngsters or the inexperienced players have struggled as we saw in the Test series. And how much of an effect would the Australian tour to England have? They did well in the ODIs. So if you had to say that they're going to get this confidence here, your final verdict on how Australia are going to perform? It's difficult, but still. I think Australia will do okay. I think if you look at uh, where Australia have had their success in India, it's when they've batted first and they've scored about 290 or 300. If they can do that once again, it could put um, India under lots of pressure because they're bowling and fielding, probably not as high standard as before. They can, they've got the ability to actually choke the Indians. And who knows what can happen with, you know, Mitchell Johnson is in, I think he's in the form of his life. And if he can get a couple of wickets early and uh, chasing 290 won't be that easy. So it would be premature to write this Australian team off because they have a lot of potential. A lot of them have played the IPL as Gaurav said. So we just hope that it's an intriguing series and it's not one-sided and we have some great cricket our way.